What's up, good people? Mark Holmes here, of course, with MAFG Colin. And as always, I want to thank you all for watching, commenting, subscribing, and being part of the Dallas Cowboys drama. Because without the Dallas Cowboys and all the drama, I guess I wouldn't have much to talk about. So I guess I should be thankful for Jerry and Stephen Jones and all of the stuff that is. All right, so you know how we always get, we get our appetite going, you know, you got the taste for something really good, you know, you, 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 your mouth starts to, to get just drool and get excited about stuff. That's how it is every off season that, you know, we think about the possibilities. You know, think about when Earl Thomas came into the locker room and said, you know, come get me and stuff. And then there's the whole, you know, teasing about him coming to Dallas and things. And then it was old Jamal Adams. Oh my God, Jamal Adams, you know, he, he was of course from Texas and wanted to be in Dallas and things. You know, we got all excited about that and then found out that they wanted Zach Martin and a couple of number ones. It was like, nah, that's not gonna happen. This off season, it's Vaughn Miller and Bobby Wagner. You know, we all have heard there's mutual interest here. The Cowboys have picked up the phone. They made a call. They talked to Bobby Wagner. We found out that, you know, we're on the secondary list. We've gotten excited. You know, we got DeMarcus Ware, you know, literally saying he's talking to Vaughn Miller. You know, he's the mentor, you know, sensei talking to him, you know, we got him see, you know, we're seeing Micah Parsons, Bobby Wagner, and uh, Von Miller. What? The guys from Von Miller. Say what? So, we've heard all that. We've been excited. We've heard that it went beyond where we've been with the other ones. And we hear the latest thing is Apparently, the Rams are still working on keeping Von Miller. Nothing's done yet. Nothing has happened yet. But the Rams are definitely making a push. Which means one of two things are going to happen. We will be disappointed, as always. Because that's what we... What? Do you want to save it for another video? Save what? Some breaking news? Do we have a da 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 Damn, the, Gina. About the punter that we might be signing for. Oh, okay. We, we can add that on here. We can add Just that on here. Because we, we know it's going to take forever for this to upload. But apparently the Rams are working on trying to keep Bobby Wagner. I've seen not Bobby Wagner. It's Von Miller. Von Miller as a Ram. In which case we have been teased again. You know, we, we're looking. We're, our mouth is drooling. We're excited. And probably we'll end up with nothing. As far as Bobby Wagner goes, we hear that he is interested more so with the Rams. And you got to look and say, why wouldn't you be interested for the Rams? Because they just won the Super Bowl and they've got all kinds of great players. Or the Chargers, the Chargers, of course, in L.A. as well. And they're signing everybody. So, of course, what you're seeing now is what used to happen in basketball where you have the mega teams. Where you have teams, because they're so good, are the draw, and that's why teams players want to go. And then you have the Dallas Cowboys who like to put clauses in. Yeah, put clauses in that literally say we can take every penny that you've made from us. And all we got was a, you know, and that's what we got. Possibly, possibly a punter from. Oh, so from the but but we couldn't keep our Pro Bowl punter. We couldn't keep that guy, but we might get. A punter from the Rams. Hey, at least, at Did, least didn't we get Greg the leg from from the Rams? But hey, at least the man won a Super Bowl, so he got a Super Bowl winning punter. Oh, so. okay. <laughs> All right. That that might be the upside to that. So the uh, is, is that definite? They're pursuing him. Okay. So, so probably, the Cowboys probably. may be signing a Super Bowl winner. Punter. I'm just saying. He's, <laughs> no, I, you can you can see how I'm gonna. Okay, th that'll be a clickbait title. Cowboy signing Super Bowl winner. Not the one you think. Super Bowl. <laughs> Sucks. Yeah, it does. All right, good people. That's all we got today. At least, hey, at least the Cowboys haven't dropped the ball today, have they? They haven't made a, a, a is this the first day that they haven't had like a, a catastrophic failure? But it's still early. It's only 3.40. They still have time to make a catastrophic failure. 
It is 20 minutes away from the beginning of the league year where everybody has to be under the cap number. So there's that. And um, headed over to the Red Brick House. Gonna, oh, actually, I should go down and drop off the plans first. Yeah. Actually, going back downtown to drop off the plans. But we're going to do a little bit of work. And it'll be Happy New Year in 19 minutes. And um, that's it. Yep, I, I'm, I'm having the sinking feeling that the excitement and the euphoria of thinking about getting Bobby Wagner and Von Miller, that I don't think it's going to happen. That happens to good teams. That doesn't happen to the Cowboys. What do you mean, what do you mean good teams? I don't think that, that they get good players? Oh, oh. I thought we, talking about, I thought talking about Dallas Cowboys were a good team. No, I said that that's the kind of stuff that happens to good teams. I mean, we're, we were better than we were the previous season. I don't think I don't, I don't consider us a good team. Yeah. Not not in the, okay. Not a good team front office wise that, that, that makes that, deals. That's, that's that's exactly what okay. I mean. Because I actually have faith in some in our players. Oh, the players I do, I, but I not the front in office. Players, but this front office, man, I, I don't know. And Stewart, I'm sorry that that you had to stop eating from my analogy of the do, uh, the the uh, Doctor Pimple Popper. But it's the right analogy. All right, good people. Peace out.